Yo, this is Writer's Block, and this is my AP interview. 24 years on a night like this. Pasta stripping acid out, popped his key. 24 years on a night like this. What a life this is. 24 years on a night like this. Pasta stripping acid out, popped his key. 24 years on a night like this. What a life this is. 24 like the hours in the day. 24. Uh, so I'm from Irmo, South Carolina. Uh, I lived here most of my life. For uh, some portion of my life, though, I lived in uh, Manning, South Carolina, which is like way out in the fucking country. And I would say that that had one of the biggest influences on how I grew up because I was constantly having to use my imagination. You know, I was out in the woods, like by myself, no friends and shit. So, like, entertain yourself. What kind of stuff do you do? Bro, I would just like run the woods with my dog and like my imagination was crazy back then and I think that's what's like contributed to my art and how I see things going now, so. Yeah, when you're in fourth grade, you're like... Uh, I'd say like 10. 10? Okay. Well, you could be 9. I feel like it just depends. Okay, so like right around that time is when my mom kind of like left the picture. And so I was going through a lot then. So, uh... I had this teacher, Miss Price, and she's still like one of my top two teachers I ever had. We had like a poetry month, and so she really focused on poetry, and I started like really getting into that, and I started realizing like how much it did for my spirit when I wrote the poems and shit. And we had a poetry day. She said it like a poetry day. She said it like the whole room, kind of like a cafe type feel. And like everybody's parents came in. I know my dad didn't come. My grandmother may have. And so like I read my poem, and, you know, all the other kids were reading their poems and shit, and it was, like, nice. It was, like, you know, kids' poems, whatever. And then I came up and, like, I had written my poem about what I was going through, and so I saw the whole, like, mood of the room change just like that. And right then I was like, yo, this holds a lot of power. And I knew I had to do something with words then, so. That's hard to say because uh, I try to be pretty eccentric like every artist does, I guess. So sometimes, sometimes as an artist it's hard to look at your music as, like, a, I don't know, you try to like box your music in because as an artist you spend so much time trying to like not box yourself in that when you try to use words to describe it, it's kind of difficult. Um, I would say there's a lot of influence from like the messages in like Roots reggae music. So I take a lot of those messages and morals and put it into the music. Um, I have a lot of influence from like Nipsey Hussle, uh, Mac Miller, um, Talib Kweli. A lot of people don't really listen to Talib, but he's probably in my top five rappers. He's just, he's dope as fuck. Success for me is like being able to put everybody on my team in a winning position and just like, I guess investing money is in like positive things for the world. Like I know Kanye's looking kind of like wild right now on Twitter and social media, but what he's doing out in Wyoming is pretty dope. Building like a, like land for people to live and just like, I guess like new schools, new ways of thought. I think that's the only way to kind of break the system is to like build a way better system. Um, Piggy Smalls is, uh, she's an ornery bitch, but she's cool. She's got some love sometimes, especially if you got snacks. She loves watermelon, I love watermelon. So we have a mutual, uh, a mutual lovable thing there. So we sit and enjoy watermelon together on the back porch. Uh, yeah, bro. So many. So, like, if I don't shout you out, it's still love. You know, there's so many. Kid, Audio Hippie, Meme, Sleepy, Radical, AP, everybody who was in Rope Swing, uh, Little Nomad. It's just a lot. It's been a lot of people recently, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, I fuck with everybody in Frat. I fuck with 803G. I fuck with Cartier. I fuck with Dutch, Vanisher, Cold Smoke. Everybody who was fucking at uh, the cook-up I had at my house back in January, right before the Rona really started taking over. Uh, we had just like, I think I told you about it, but we had like probably like 40 artists slash producers, maybe, maybe a little bit more. And then like homies and shit too. And we set up three studios in my house. And in every room, it was crazy. I think we came away, like, all in all, there was, like, 12 songs made that day. And that was in, like, a 10-hour period. Uh, yeah, so, like, I'll make music. And then uh, after that, I like to make some music. And then, like, I might eat some fruit. And then I'll try to get back to making some music. 
and then um, I'll make some music after that, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then make like smoke a joint, maybe, and have a nice long conversation, and then like put that conversation into some music. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I I uh, I like to uh, play sports. I like to exercise. I'm finally getting back into exercising again, so that's one of the hobbies right now. And then. Um, Carry paints, and I like to paint. That shit is nice. I can see myself, like, when I'm old, just, like, painting and being a painter. and being, That's what I'm doing, you know? I got the sauce like the bay leaf added. I'm Bob Ross. Where I paint this magic, I pop off. If you claim it's static, it's top golf. Where I'm aiming at it, the top spot like a vacant attic. You smoke rocks if you think I'm stagnant. You just hating because I make shit happen. I was waiting, but my patience lacking. There's better bars in your favorite tavern. What's on tap, bitch? I grew up, but this ain't old savage. You say your bars mean, well, you must mean